Incredible. Now, tell, tell me the, the history of that. You, you wrote that. I wrote that with a guy named Johnny Barnett. Yeah, Johnny's passed away, but um, Johnny had told me a story. He said um, in the 70s, he was older than me. He said in the 70s, he was on his way to a show in Maryville, Tennessee, and he had a flat tire in his car, and he didn't have a jack, and he was all dressed up, and some young boy in a beat-up pickup truck, about an 18-year-old kid, stopped and helped him. And Johnny said, I just need to borrow a jack. And the kid said, you're all dressed up. You just stay in your car. I'll change a tire. So he did. And when he was done, Johnny said, what do I owe you? And the boy said, you don't owe me anything. He said, surely there's got to be something I can do to pay you back. And the boy said, next time someone needs some help, you help them and think of me. And that's where the song came from. Now, there's a little connection with the, the guy that you brought with you today with that song, right? Well, um, how would you say that connection is? Actually, actually, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it, it was a connection. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Uh, tell them about what the guy did that uh, co-wrote that song with you. This is well, Paul. Uh, Paul and I. Uh, Paul, Paul Overstreet, Street, by the Paul, way, we yes. didn't actually say that. Paul's great to have you with us. Great songwriter. Well, I, I entered, you know, I was a big fan of Paul. I'm honored to bring Paul here, um, just because he doesn't know what he's been missing. Right. And uh, even more than that, uh, he doesn't realize how many people love him and miss seeing him. And, and this is an incredible opportunity for people to see Paul Overstreet again. Um, but I met Paul. Uh, we were writing songs or we began writing songs because I was a big fan of his. And um, I introduced him to this buddy of mine, uh, Johnny Barnett. And Johnny was a really funny character. He was not a normal country songwriter. He didn't have a country bone in his body. Uh, what he did for a living before this was he was Cheech and Chong's opening act for seven years. Oh my so he, he wasn't actually the epitome of the sweet so story song we wrote. But uh, he was on the road with uh, and played a show with Paul and just, you know, you know made, their, made their trip really special. Well, Paul Overstreet has written a song or two. Oh, yes, wow. Paul's written a lot of great songs. The, um, you mentioned being here when Randy Travis was here. And, and Randy, I think, was going to come yes, today. Sir, he and he had a fall or something? Yeah, he fell just uh, maybe three days ago and, and broke his arm and, and had to have surgery. And so, it, right up, you know, you don't know how much Randy still loves country music. He, he was liable to show up, you know, on, on a gurney. You know, he just, he loves it that much, but he, he couldn't make it, so. Well, the day that he came and sat across here and you sat behind, you, all you had to do was look in his eyes and know how much he loves country oh, yeah. music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because you can still see it. It still lights up his face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was an amazing And, time. of course, Paul wrote, you know, most of those those uh, Randy Travis hits. I know he did. I bet we could twist his arm, get him come up here come and on sing up here, a couple Paul. of them, oh. couldn't we? Oh. Paul Overstreet. 